Now, I was going to tell you about uh, these cheap Chinese multimeters and why they're a load of garbage. Now, the main reason is that uh, the build quality is absolutely atrocious, and I'll take one apart in a minute and show you. Now, using a multimeter uh, is the same as using any other instrument, and it's all about uh, a term called measurement confidence. And that's the confidence you have in this meter that it's going to give you a reliable reading. Um, it's going to be accurate and it's going to be repeatable from the last time you used it. And this is different from accuracy and calibration. Um, that's a different concept entirely, which we may go over sometime. Um, but measurement confidence is, you know, about you know trusting your multimeter and it's going to give you the same reading it gave you last time. Can you trust one of these cheap $20 multimeters? No way! You're crazy if you do. Now, to be fair, they, they do have a place. I mean, you know, if you pay $20 for a multimeter, you don't expect it to, uh, you know, to either last that long or, uh, or give you highly accurate results. But, um, you, know, it, uh, you know, you can buy five of these for the cost of one of these good meters. And, you know, some people argue that five of these is better than one of these. Well, I, I argue it's not. I would rather have one of these and be confident in it than actually have five of these and have to toss them out and be unsure whether or not my reading is going to be good the next time I use it. And with these cheap meters, you've really got to have more than one because you wouldn't trust one on its own. Uh, if you're doing important measurements with one of these, you, you really should be um, actually comparing it against a second meter to make sure it's not lying to you. Now, this one I've got in particular is the uh, JCAR JTEC QM1340. It's, it's a reasonably old model, um, but it's four and a half digits with a quoted accuracy of 0.05%, which sounds fantastic. Now, that accuracy is just uh, really complete bullshit, really. It's, uh, you know... This uh, thing, it, you know, it might meet its spec of 0.05% on the 300 millivolt range out of the box, but uh, it's certainly not going to stay that way because these things use the lowest quality components possible. Okay, so let's take a look inside inside this thing. Now, this one's actually a particularly uh, good example because the solder joints, are, you know, aren't too bad, but. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but there probably are some joints there which have been touched up by hand. Now, um, I've taken a lot of these cheap multimeters apart and uh, I've seen some really shocking things. It looks like they've been hand soldered on some kitchen table somewhere in Taiwan. And, uh, and they're shocking. The, solder, the uh, solder joints have blow holes in them and they're dry as anything. They're certainly, um, they certainly don't know how to solder in these places that assemble these things. Now, if we take a look at the component side, you can see it uses all through-hole uh, discrete circuitry. Why? Because that's cheap. They get the components for 0 0.0001 cents each, and they just use whatever grade component they can find. These aren't prime spec parts. Um, in fact, you know, some of the caps in there might be fake caps that they you know, that they got from some supplier in the far reaches of China who's actually, uh, you know, running some sort of scam. So you really can't have reliability in a meter that's built uh, with, you know, with these crude um, non-prime spec components. This is actually like an $80, um, $70, $80 Chinese uh, multimeter. But if you open one of the $20 ones, which I might do sometime later, they're, you know, they can be uh, twice as bad as this one. They just can't handle rough use. And really, you can't trust it. Even, I've had these die just sitting on the bench. You know, you, you don't even need to abuse them for these to fail. I had um, an example once where, uh, due to budget constraints, we were um, forced to buy um, a dozen uh, cheap multimeters um, for use in a... Um, a fairly rugged uh, industrial factory environment. And um, all of them, all, you know, all 10 or 12 of them, without fail, died 
within the first couple of months due to you know all sorts of failures, um, cracked solder joints on the on the um, on the input plugs is uh, common, and um, just just generally just dying of abuse because they get dropped on the concrete floor. But um, over the same time, I've uh, actually in the same environment, I've never actually seen a quality meter like a fluke fail. They they just don't. They they get the same amount of abuse, but they last. I've seen them last, you know longer than 10 years in the same factory environment. And uh, that's what you get with really prime quality meters. So next time, do yourself a favor and don't waste your money on these cheap Chinese meters. They're just not worth it.